Hello, my name is David Sharp. I'm a faculty member at the Ivy Business School in Canada. I will be holding a case writing and case teaching workshop at IIM Calcutta in late November. It'll be a four day workshop. At Ivy, we have been using cases now for over 80 years and we have been sharing our expertise for almost as long. Uh, Ivy faculty members have been holding case teaching and case writing workshops in over 60 countries around the world and we've trained over 15,000 faculty members to use the case method and to write cases. You may be aware that the case method has really been catching on recently in India. From a mere handful of institutions five years ago, now over 200 institutions of higher learning are using IV cases in India. And we sell now 10 times as many cases as we did five years ago. Well, what is a case? A case is a documentation of a business decision. It provides the information that was available to the decision maker at the time, and it enables the students to put themselves in the position of the decision maker so that they can work through the information available and come to a decision themselves. So it enables an engaged, excited, involved class process. The students become involved in their learning. The workshop will be a very hands-on one. We will focus first on the learning and teaching side of cases, managing the classroom, those kinds of things, how to organize the case discussion and so on. And the second half of the workshop will cover the case writing process, what you need to put into a case in order to make it an effective and exciting teaching vehicle. Who should come to the workshop? Well, if you are interested in making your classes more engaged, more exciting, uh, more involved with students, certainly you should be there. If you're new to the game, you'd be very welcome. Even if you are more experienced and you want to brush up your skills or exchange ideas with other people, you will find the workshop useful. So I look forward to seeing you at the end of November. Thank you.